hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Demi Tokwe if you are new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back so today I have this gorgeous look for you guys mm -hmm. no. before you see it go to the you've already talked the last statement now you, you, at least you pause a minute now you have not say so today you get it as if to say no you are the person to say this thing. but you tell them in the, in the way that they will grow they are going to understand what you are going to say the next so that's why you say so today what i have to tell you is so 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 but it's, it's different from what you say so today and it is not it is not a school uh, something. No, you are talking as a professional. So and the way you are going to present your speech, you present it in a way that it is right from your mind, not that you are just telling them. You don't need to be fast. Okay. Daddy, everything tells so. So, I can't Welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Tokwe. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming as well so today i have the simple look for you guys very very simple no drama well except my lashes so if you want to see how i achieved this look please keep on watching and if you enjoyed the video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel thank you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye so guys i'm starting with my skin today I'm using the mis micellar water from Mismetics and now I'm using the moisturizer from Mismetics as well. So for any makeup application, you want to make sure you prep your skin very 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 well for the makeup application. So now I'm using the Zaram Pore Minimizer. I have large pores on my nose so I use that to just um, cancel out the pores now I'm using this foundation from Blossom makeup I love that foundation guys and it's so cheap like I think I got it 3k 3k for one I'm not sure but that found this foundation is you guys will see it after the after the whole process you see the foundation is very very nice i like the coverage i like the smooth finish like i love the foundation <laughs> so i'm using my brush to um, apply the foundation if you notice i'm not rubbing the foundation because if i am rubbing it i'll be lifting the foundation away from the face i'm dabbing it so like i'm stapling the foundation onto my skin so i'm taking my time you don't take your time when doing this to get the flawless finish that you want to achieve and please remember to always bring the brush down to the neck to avoid having two colors can see I'm taking my time I'm doing that as well you have to be patient guys yes can you see the coverage the coverage is oh i love it i love the coverage like i wish my skin was this 
nice without foundation so i like to go back with a beauty sponge just to you know remove the excess um, foundation that i have applied and i believe it also gives a smooth finish and now time for highlight and contouring so for highlight i'm using the pro concealer in the shade toffee yes i'm using it under my eyes the bridge of my nose i'm going to use it on my chin and then for contouring um i believe that is the pro concealer in the shade maogani that's usually what i use for my highlight and contour yes so the contour is for the perimeters of my face So I, I'm blending it out using a brush. I'm still going to use a beauty sponge, but I like to use the brush first. Yes, I'm using that mini beauty sponge for my nose. I'm using it to blend my nose highlight. Yes, I'm using the brush to also blend out the contour area you want to take your time i'm still blending you want to take your time <laughs> So I'm using another brush for the highlight for the highlighted area. Yeah. Just look at what I'm doing. It's very very easy. Can you see? Yeah. So I'm using a beauty sponge to blend that part as you can see i'm not dragging out the concealer i'm pushing it in i'm pushing it in because i want a good coverage so i'm still pushing it in see i'm not dragging out the concealer yeah I'm still blending. Now I'm using the beauty sponge to blend everything together. That's both the highlighted area and the contour part so that we don't have any demarcation as you can see very very flawless no demarcation so i'm using the beauty by ad setting powder in the shade tony to to set my highlighted area so i'm using the micro beauty sponge to apply the powder under my eye now yes i'm using the rcma no color powder to also set my under eye i forgot to show the powder on camera but that's the rcma no color powder so that's the zaron maxi blend face powder i'm using it as a face powder and i'm using it to powder my face See, I'm also using the dabbing motion. It's the best way to apply your product in your face. So that's the Maybelline powder in the shade 
cacao i'm using it to set my contour area i like that powder a lot i like the bronzy effect it gives to the face so i'm using it to set my contour area so after setting the contour area you want to go back with your face powder brush can you see you want to use it to blend the edges out so there are no demarcations can you see yes yes now time to reverse contour because i want that sharp <laughs> i want that sharp look so i'm using the rcma powder yes i went off camera to do my brows but i'm going to be putting out a brow tutorial very soon so time for the eyeshadow uh, i'm using the concealer the pro concealer in the shade toffee to prime my eyelid for the eyeshadow so i'm doing something very very simple today this eyeshadow you can take it out you can take it to work like it it's a very very simple eyeshadow look so i i'm using the maybelline powder in the shade cacao so any brown eyeshadow can actually do this any brown eyeshadow can do this for you so i'm using a clean brush to blend out the edges yeah so i'm going in with that shimmer shade from zaron palette so i'm taking my time to blend it as well i'm going back with the brush that i used in applying the powder to further intensify the the brown now i'm using a pencil liner to line my lid this is optional actually you can just use your mascara at this point and voila you're good to go so i went off camera to apply my lashes that's the mismetic lashes in the style kura i told you guys that's my favorite lashes <laughs> so that that's the nyx lip stain the red lips is actually optional you can use anything like in fact you can even apply lip gloss you are good to go so i'm highlighting the lip area just to define the lip and i'm setting my face yes the so time to glow up this is totally optional you don't have to do this but I am very very extra yes I am extra like that <laughs> yep the finished look guys I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video I'll see you guys in my next video